I'm Hunter Kirshner, the coordinator of LGBTQ student support in the Office of Multicultural Student Support and Success. Uh, we're located here in the Student Center, just up on the second floor. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about what we do. So the mission of our office is really to work with students at an individual level, um, to support them in their day-to-day -day activities um, here at Keene State, to help uh, honor their authentic selves and help them discover um, their values, passions, and desires. Um, a lot of the work that we do is really around community building, and so uh, myself and my counterpart Kaya, who you'll meet in a second, um, really work to create spaces uh, to make connections with other students and staff and faculty across campus. Uh, some of the ways that we do that is through uh, a program that I run, which is called Out and About, which is a monthly social drop-in space for LGBTQ students, staff, and faculty, um, and that's a beautiful way for students to meet, staff and faculty who are also LGBTQ. Hi everyone, my name is Kaya Ramanpur and I'm the coordinator of Multicultural Student Support and Success and Equity Education in the Office of Multicultural Student Support and Success. I use she, her pronouns and I work with Hunter to create a really amazing opportunity for students to engage with themselves and with the community. So much of my approach and Hunter's approach to the work is really relationship building, getting to know students for their true selves helping them express that and helping them connect deeply to their environment, their local and global community. So we do this in many, many ways. Um, and the first one is some programming. So I run a woman of color circle, and that is a uh, woman identifying student of color exclusive space where we do community building, identity exploration, healing, fun, all of these other wonderful things. And we also, like Hunter said, do some policy work. So last year I got to work with a wonderful student who wanted our community to explore ways to be better neighbors, um, specifically in honoring indigenous communities and the indigenous com community that Keene State here has to offer. So in this effort, we actually wrote a proclamation for Indigenous Peoples Day, and it was passed uh, by the mayor in Keene. I'm so sorry that I keep adjusting this. Um, that it was passed by the mayor in Keene uh, for the first time in Keene's history. And then we took that proclamation and we brought it to the Keene State College Senate and we had Keene State pass the first ever resolution for um, acknowledging Indigenous Peoples Day every October from last year until forever. We're so excited to like uh, connect with you and get to know you. Um, we have lots of ways to get in touch. Um, Nope, now I'm just ram now I'm just I don't know. You were good to stop okay. <clears throat> that was great. Great. Perfect. Yeah.